There are a lot of loopholes in India's gun laws at the moment. Uh, we have a lot of small arms and light weapons in circulation around the country and with rising arm violence because of uh, poverty and lack of uh, resource. Government of India is doing its best, but it is not enough. The government contends that it's the state's monopoly to defend the life and liberty of citizens. However, the, it is every citizen's individual responsibility to take measures and means to protect his own life and liberty because the state simply cannot be everywhere all at once to protect every single citizen. Because everyone's life is precious and everyone has the right to defend their life and liberty. We are not terrorists. If I own a gun for my self-protection, I am not a terrorist. If I know what I am carrying and what disaster it can do, so I will not use it unless it's the last option. So to give knowledge to every civilian, what is firearm, what it can do, is more safe like teaching young kids how to drive in a driving school rather than learning cars on the road. Since arms in India are licensed, these arms licenses have to be renewed every three years. New regulations which have come will make it very difficult when you go to renew your arms licenses because a lot of powers have been given to the licensing authority. It would result in substantial delays and untold harassment and hardships to law-abiding citizens of our country. So we got together a whole bunch of like-minded people and decided to form NAGRI, the National Association for Gun Rights of India. The National Rifle Association in America is the standard by which all gun right owners judge themselves. Here is an organization which has dedicated its life to protecting a fundamental democratic right. For us in India, this is a beacon of hope. Security of my life is responsible to the administration. You don't need to run around uh, issuing, uh, throwing around arms to people to take care of themselves. So you have the uh, people here to do it. They are paid for it, right? They are paid from our taxes we pay. They don't do the job, so you let them, uh, you have desperados on the road. I think we owe it to the legacy of Mahatma Gandhi and we owe it to the richness of the heritage of this country to be able to say that this is strong, to arm every Indian citizen is not in our legacy. Saumya had gone for the evening shift, 3 to 12. Then I have been trying to contact her, but there was no answer. Somebody picked up around 4 or 5. They said, who is on the line? They said there has been an accident. There is an accident. Who was there? In I said, it is my daughter. They said, you come immediately to the site. They explained to me. So the bullet, it was hit here, no? Those people, their intention was to rob her. Very clear. It is very shocking because, yes, we had read of such cases here and there, but somehow it was something, you know, far off. We never thought it would happen in our life, this sort of a thing.